Hello and welcome to NCTV episode 9 and the 7th week of lockdown in the UK. Today's episode is all about the importance of drinking water. Whilst this may seem fairly obvious, its importance can be forgotten and whilst it's something that's easy to do, it's also easy not to do. So this will be a reminder for some, news to others and hopefully inspiration to you all to make a bit more effort or a conscious effort to monitor your intake. First of all, 60% of our bodies are made up of water and drinking too little or too much can both be dangerous for our health, so we need to strike the right balance. A recent report by Loughborough University revealed that being dehydrated whilst performing everyday tasks like driving could lead to twice as many mistakes behind the wheel. Conversely, research also showed that drinking too much water can cause sodium levels to drop dangerously low, resulting in excessive sweating, insomnia and even, de even death. So, as with alcohol, drink in moderation. Government guidelines say we should drink around one and a half to two litres of water a day, with the former amount being for women, that's around eight 200 millilitre glasses, and for the latter, about 10 glasses for men. These are obviously just broad guidelines, and the advice doesn't take into account size, age, temperature, or how active you are, for example. Um, so if you were to say exercise on a hot day then you need to drink more water and the same goes following a bout of vomiting, diarrhoea or if you're pregnant or breastfeeding even. Things to take into consideration. Number one, you get about 20% of the water, your everyday water through food. Two, if you're feeling thirsty then you are already dehydrated, so don't wait until you need a drink. Sip water regularly throughout the day to stay hydrated. Three, to answer an age old question, do teas, coffees and fizzy drinks count? The answer is that in theory, yes they do. You can get a certain amount of water from teas and coffees, but they are actually diuretics, meaning that you will lose more water through urination. Ultimately, water is much healthier for you, and also it has no calories or sugar that can rot your teeth. Four, a good indicator of how well hydrated you are is by checking the colour of your urine. The lighter the better, the darker the more dehydrated you are. And five, the, uh, even, if even after say drinking two litres of water you still feel thirsty and are going to the loo more, it may be best to get yourself checked out by a doctor just to check for any underlying problems such as diabetes. So the health benefits of drinking water are one, it helps with weight loss. Many people confuse hunger with thirst, so by drinking more water, it will remove the urge to snack. Being well hydrated also makes it easier for your body to break down fat cells. Two, it improves your skin, helping things like acne by flushing away toxins and bacteria, plus it can reduce wrinkles. Three, it can help to reduce headaches and dizziness. Four, it helps to fight infection. Five, aids your digestion, um, keeps you regular if you suffer from constipation. Six, it helps you exercise better as your body will be able to work harder during a workout. Plus it lubricates your joints, helping to increase flexibility and mobility. Seven, as your brain is 85% water, it will help to improve your concentration, short-term memory and your mood. Eight, it boosts your energy. Similar to how the brain slows down if you're dehydrated, so can the body. Your muscles are 75% water, bones are 22% and your blood 83%. Deprive them of water and the result will be tiredness, laziness and a lack of motivation. Nine, it supports a healthy heart. As being dehydrated thickens the blood, drinking more water can help to reduce the risk of heart attack. And finally, 10, it helps to maintain the fluidity of the discs in your spine, which act as a shock absorber, reducing the effects of wear and tear. So now you know the benefits, here are some more top tips on how to incorporate more water into your life. And another list, this time of five things, starting with number one, drink a glass of water first thing in the morning when you wake up to replace any lost fluids during sleep. Two, carry a bottle around with you. It will remind you to drink more and help you to keep track of how much you're drinking. Plus you can easily refill it from a tap. And if you don't like tap water, then you can filter it or also add a squeeze of lemon or lime, or infuse it with other fruits or vegetables to your liking. Three, set yourself a reminder or alarm to drink every hour. And four, I realise 
as if five things originally, there are four things. Eat water-rich foods such as lettuce, cucumber, tomatoes, broccoli, carrots and watermelon. As a bonus, these will also help to count towards your five a day. So that's all for today's advice on drinking water. Look out for future episodes on other advice and uses on the benefits of water for your health. See you next time for some more bite-sized bits to help your health flourish. Bye-bye.